everybody, Dr. Sue Cancervet here. As you guys know, I am a medical oncologist um, and I predominantly use chemotherapy to treat my cancer patients, but I think that an integrative approach can be really, really helpful. So there are some supplements that I have incorporated into my practice over the last couple of years, and I do get a lot of questions about that. So I'm in my exam room at work and we have these great murals on the background, so I know it looks like I have two dogs with me during this session, but they're gonna maybe chime in and let us know what they think about some supplements. So I'm gonna run through a couple of my favorite ones and we'll definitely throw some links where you can find out more information, but let's get going. So one of my favorite ones is Apicaps, and this was developed by the co-author of my book, The Dog Cancer Survival Guide, that I wrote with Dr. Damian Dressler a bunch of years, not that many years, a little bit ago. Anyway, so he developed this, and it's a really cool supplement. I've been really, really impressed with the results, and I really like the more that I research and do the science behind it, I really, really like it. So you can definitely go to their website, which is apicaps.com, and get more information. Very pretty, very nice, informative website. But basically, the way that I think about this is as a plant supplement. So this is supplements, guys. These are not medicines. Um, has about six different plant-derived supplements that have been shown to help promote, big word coming, apoptosis. What is that? So that is cell suicide. All of our cells, if they get damaged, when they outlive their lifespan, they should die in this very natural, quiet way called apoptosis. One of the ways that cancer cells keep going is they have figured out how to avoid and evade uh, apoptosis. So there are some plant supplements or plant compounds that have been shown to help push back those cells towards cell suicide. And so some of them are luteolin, curcumin, which is from the turmeric spice, apigenin, there's some, um, some of the mushrooms in here, there's some gingerols in here, and oh, the same thing that's in Denimarin, a milk supp a liver supplement. So you can find out more about that, but I like that. Couple of precautions that I want you to, before you just go, because you can buy this online from Amazon. This has lots of natural anti-inflammatory properties. Sounds great, right? But so do steroids, which are a common anti-inflammatory, especially that we use in our lymphoma patients. This is only for dogs, by the way. And non-steroidal anti-inflammatory. So Deramax, Rimadyl, Peroxicam, um, Prevacox. So those are all other non-steroidal anti-inflammatories. So if your pet's on a steroid, like prednisone, or any of the non-steroidals, maybe that I didn't mention, I use this at about half dose. So you wanna to talk to your veterinarian. Don't just buy it online and start giving it because if your pet's on like Deramax, probably gonna get a stomach ulcer and not do well on it. Um, but I have found because it does have natural anti-inflammatory properties, some of my patients can back off on their arthritis medications or we can use it with other pain medications like gabapentin or tramadol or things like that. So most of my patients, careful, or on Apicaps. Again, you can find it on Amazon, but talk to your veterinarian. Any supplement that you put your pet on, you should talk to your veterinarian. Make sure that there's nothing that conflicts. My second favorite supplement, guys, is an Asian mushroom mix. There's two main on ones on the market. I use Canine Immunity Plus. Um, it's a little bit more economical than the other one, which is I Am Unity. Uh, usually my clients will buy that one online. The ones that I'm using I Am Unity for is hemangiosarcoma because there was a small study that came out of Penn that showed that it had good efficacy for dogs that had ruptured splenic hemangiosarcoma, a really aggressive tumor in their spleen, and didn't get chemo but got this mushroom. This one's just significantly less expensive. They're both proprietary. So we it's hard to compare apples to oranges and tell you what's uh, the difference of them, but they both have this Asian mushroom. They're thought to help boost or modulate the immune system, have a lot of cool properties like increased natural killer cells and stuff like that. So this is another one that I like and will use in most of my patients. Most of my dog patients will eat it. It's a chewable um, thing. Sorry, chewable thing. Tired. End of a long week. You can buy this online. Again, please talk to your veterinarian. I do not replace your veterinarian. Talk to your veterinarian. You must talk to your veterinarian, please, before you start adding all these supplements. Other thing, guys, is I am not a holistic vet. I am not an integrative vet, but I've done my homework, and there are certain ones that I like and will use in some of my patients. 
my clients or some that really want to do more than I can do, I'm going to send them to a holistic veterinarian and you can go online and find one or ask your vet if they have a good integrative vet in your neighborhood. And I have clients who do a lot more, but I work with the vet. It takes a village, everybody. We're going to work everybody together with a vet, with a holistic vet, um, you know, sometimes a radiation oncologist, surgeon and things like that. But again, these are a couple of my favorite ones. Another one that I like is fish oils, and we know there's lots of health benefits for people and uh, our pets for fish oils. It has an anti-inflammatory effect, and that's good for our cancer patients, and thought maybe to help it with cancer as well. So I do like it. Um, I'm currently using Nordic Naturals. Um, I like the capsules for my dog because it's easier. Just pop them in our food. Uh, my Labradors are Labradors, they'll eat it. But if not, it also comes in a liquid, comes in smaller bottles as well for small dogs and cats. And you could just pour this in their food as well. So that is another sort of, suppl sort of supplement that I like. Uh, it's good for joints as well, good for skin. So dermatologists will often have your dog some fish oils as well. So those would be other good things. Again, those are really my main three things. So I like apicaps, I like an Asian mushroom, beta glucan polysaccharide is the big fancy name. few bonus things. Um, if your pet's anemic, sometimes an iron vitamin supplement. So we like pet tinic. Um, most pets will actually eat it really well. So here's another good one that we can use in dogs and cats. You can definitely get this on Amazon. Oh, guys, I don't recommend putting medications in food. I know that's confusing. And if you're having a hard time getting medications, talk to your veterinarian. Sometimes pill pockets, sometimes, you know, other little tricks like hot dogs or cold cuts or things like that. But if you're putting medication in their food, even supplements, and they won't eat it, you don't know what they're getting. And so, especially for their treatment, really, really important. This is something called Yunnan Bio, um, which is a Chinese herbal supplement that um, they think the active ingredient is noto ginseng, and it can really promote clotting and stop bleeding. So some of the times that, you know, most, most of my patients don't need this. Really good for dogs that have nosebleeds, so nose and sinus tumors, um, or even if they have other nose diseases that are causing bleeding, this can help stop. And then sometimes we'll be using it for dogs that have bleeding internally, like our hermangiosarcoma patients. So still a lot to learn about this. It comes over from China, so it's not super regulated um, in terms of what's in it. There's some other crazy stuff in there as well, like ox bile or something like that. But it works for nose bleeding. This stuff works. There's some studies, they looked at it in people that were having really, uh, big surgeries on their upper bones or maxillar, maxillary bones and help stop bleeding there as well. So I'm not telling you to use it for you, but I'm just telling you there's some good evidence that it can work in dogs um, and people as well. So Union Bio, I used to have to send my clients down to Chinatown in New York City to get it, but now guess who has it? Amazon. Not always, but they usually do have it few bonus things and so if you um these are also covered in my um, top five things of medications i like my chemotherapy patients to go home on i'm just going to mention them again because they're good stuff probiotics i think these are great for gut health currently using this proviable brand which has uh, more bugs uh, so these are going to promote gut health, local immune system there, really help keep our gut healthy. So for my chemotherapy patients, I like for them to be on, usually use about every three days. And then if the pet has diarrhea or soft stool, we're gonna go up to daily. Um, Fortiflora is another brand. This one has packages for dogs and cats. Um, had been using this before, but they've recently added a few more good bugs to this one, so that's why I've switched over to that. RX Vitamins also makes one, and there's lots of probiotics. Um, so talk to your veterinarian, see which one they recommend, but those are some of the ones that I'm using. If your pet has chronic diarrhea, again, in the other video that we'll have a link to, RX Clay, I talk more about that. So that's a good one to use if your pet dog or cat is having chronic diarrhea. You can use it when they have diarrhea, and if they're one of those dogs that, or cats that seems to have a lot of diarrhea, or maybe has GI cancer, this would be another one to help maintain gut health. So that's it guys, we've made it to the end of another session. These are some of my favorite supplements that I like for my cancer patients. I really hope that you found this helpful. Uh, we'll throw some links down where you can find the different products. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for joining me. Thanks you two for joining me as well. Always good to have some cute company and I'll see you next time.